had me, uh, you know, it was, it was 28 years old. Uh, my first radio on my early radio. It's got me from, got me many a miles. It's got many a miles on there. Probably, well, a couple million. Well, heck, man, it's still doing its thing for sure. Yeah, I'm not a trucker. I'm just always been into CB, man. I got a base set up here, and then I got, you know, mobiles and all my vehicles. But, heck, I try to talk to truckers out there, and most of them won't even talk. And when they do, some of them, they act like they're paranoid, man. You try to start up a conversation, you know, ask them what they're hauling, where they're headed to, why. You know, I don't want to give out that information. But come on, man, I'm just trying to talk. Come on. Yeah, everybody's a damn paranoid out there. He's not even funny. Shit, I'll tell you what I'm hauling. I've got a bunch of Hershey uh, chocolate chips, about 30,000 pounds of it. And I got 42,000 pounds of onions. Now I'm going all in Utah. That's where I'm going. Uh, I ain't bashful. I'll tell anybody where I'm going. Hey, 10-4, man. Well, heck, at least you guys are talking, man. That's what these dang things are for. I wish, uh, you know, they, they, they say CB's making another comeback. I, I well, shit, I, I, I hope it does. I'd like to hear more of you guys talking, man. Yeah, I got a little, uh, I got a little Superstar 120 at the house. It's in my, in my personal pickup truck. Yeah. You want to talk about a radio, get out and walk and talk. <laughs> the radio right there. It's going 110 watts without a booster. Oh, yeah, 10 4. I tell you, run that radio in these digital trucks, these computerized trucks, a bunch of lights start going off and everything. All that RF interfering. Good thing I'm going to do that RF interference and shit, you know. This one here, it, it'll make uh, one of the lights there up on, uh, underneath it and turn on. <laughs> I had to reground it to make it stop that. Hey, at least you know it's working, man. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, uh, you ever, since you're into the radio, you ever talked to uh, uh, Top Gun 123 out there? Yeah, right. Coming in, John. I was just asking if either one of you guys ever talked to a trucker out there, Top Gun 123, Tennessee. Uh, no, I, ain't never, uh, I ain't never talked to him, but that's why I'm from Tennessee. Okay, well... I heard, I guess he rolls through here a few times a month. You know when he comes through, man, he, he's around some heat. When he gets talking, he gets talking. Uh, I guess he's one of the big boys that gets on Channel 6 on uh, the Super Bowl back back from Tennessee. I, uh, I Googled his name on YouTube and all kinds of video gates come up. Yeah, I was just wondering if either one of you guys heard him. He rolls through here every so, so often. Hey, 10 4. Yeah, 302 is out here talking. I shouldn't be too loud your way. I'm just talking to a couple truckers here at the truck stop. That's what you guys got to do, man. You got to get them truckers talking o over by your way. I don't know if you guys can hear them guys. You probably can't because you get all that static and inverters and everything else running up there at the truck stop. But a couple guys talking out there. One's down there and... Uh, uh, Dayton and the other guys out there near uh, uh, Carson City.
Heck yeah, just uh, what, what, what kind of antenna are you running? How about it, Jay? What, what kind of antenna are you running? Are you talking about me? Yeah, yeah, 10-4. Uh, these are the little stock antennas. Oh, like a fire stick or something? Uh, they some. I know I need to get me some different antennas. I know that for sure. Yeah, well, like I said, you're working good, but, uh, I'm sure you know that's the most important part of the whole damn setup, man. Get yourself a real good antenna or, or a pair of them and, and make sure they're co-phased good and them, are, them uh, SWRs are low and there you go, man. Yep, the, I learned over the years the antenna is probably the most important thing of the whole setup. Oh yeah, we'll give you a good antenna for sure. Oh yeah. The only thing I'm missing is the engine, but since I'm on my own truck, really, really cool, I'm going to do the way out there, just because I got this nice radio. Yep, 10-4, I hear you. Yeah, what's the matter with you truckers these days, man? Your trucks all look the same. It's very rare, man, you, you see a... Well, I, I see a lot of them livestock truck. It seems like those those are pretty much custom. They must be owner operators, man. Lowered, got the nice polished wheels, polished tanks, big old stacks. <laughs> yeah, ten four. Yeah, them with the big strappers, huh? Well, I learned if there's a cattle hauler or livestock hauler coming and it's full of full of live animals, man, get the hell out their way because one of them might take a dump right off the side and get all over your truck. Yeah, that is true. I don't think that shit happens. And trust me, I had a good laugh. Oh yeah, time for it. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead, uh, 38 Special. I hear you. Um, talking to a couple of truckers here at the uh, Pilot of the Loves or something. Uh, these guys actually got some really good sounding radios out this way. I'm surprised. Uh, one guy's running. I think you said it's like a 28-year-old uh, Cobra 29 that's been all tuned up. And another fellow's got one of the strikers, a small one, the 490-something, I believe. And they both got really good audio and good echo and sounding good. Uh, uh, they drive trucks. If I'm interfering with y'all out there, I'll go ahead and stand by. I just got to get in on the action every now and then, you know. Alright, 38 and uh, 403 and everyone else out there. Y'all have a good evening. You couple truckers down here at the local truck stop. You guys be safe. What do they say? Keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down.
and there's the temperature right there. That's a temperature probe. 89 degrees. I've been hammering, hammering it pretty hard. That's inside the box. That right there is the airflow inside the box coming out of the back vent. So the way I got this thing set up, it's just it's just idling, man. Just talking that thing all day long. There just went down to 87. Yeah, just talking to a couple guys. About one guy's about 30 miles, the other guy's about, I don't know, maybe 45, 50 miles off in the distance. And then talking to a couple local truckers here. And like I was telling these guys, usually these truckers, I can barely hear them from a couple miles away. And, and you, you heard these guys' radios. These guys are into CB, which, which is what's cool, man. Not many of these truckers are into CB radio. So when you hear one that is, they'll talk to you. Anyways, what the heck? Turned out to be a cool little uh, fun talking on the uh, radio tonight. So, uh, yeah, it's dropping down there, 86. 250 amp power supply. And I'm not going to tell you what that is, but it's enough. Alright, y'all have a good one.